I like killing sprees as much as the next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her? And Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? I am Groot. Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Break your lips. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo priest nut job is doing surprise nut job stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D E D. Dead. I rather die with honor than without. Who crawled up her butt and died? So, get the Flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as Flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to raise it. Sounds like murder mom's feeling more stabby than usual. Chew, chew. Move over. What are you looking at? Oh no. You ain't chewing through any more of my ship. My ship. <laughs> chew, flark off. Wow, that panel must have looked really tasty. What's it for anyways? Emergency door controls for the ship. Something a ship owner should know. Hey, do I look like an engineer? You don't. I am Groot. Quill and I don't need to make up. I am Groot. Maybe when Quill makes the right call and flies us far, far away from the church, I'll consider us formally even. Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. Sorry, Peter Quill. Cosmo's bow's been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is of shutdown for safety. He's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet, this problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? I am Groot. are the cowards who defiled Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would...
would not engage in conversation with inferior life forms. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> A Lethal Legion? Uh, more like Loser Legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends a regard, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, we got this.
Bender later. Let's just focus on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. Welcome to Nova Corps headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. I am Groot. I know, bud, but now we can all follow along with Starpan's mistakes. How, How may we assist you? After scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. Nova's profiling us? Centurion Corel's personal communicator has either been destroyed or disabled and could not be reached. For what it's worth, I'm sorry, Quill. Me too. Just pick something, Peter. Congratulations, Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps. To begin, state your full name, designation, designation or serial number. Richard Ryder. Quill's mom! This strategy is futile. Ah, uh, come on, muscle brain. It might work. Please state your celestial body or artificial installation of origin. Someplace! Earth! I continue to doubt this strategy. Sheesh. Yeah, maybe it won't work, Not but today. look at this scut. It's hilarious. Finally, in a few words, describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. Looks like the best AI in the world couldn't parse that. Good job, boys. Nope. No touching! Alright, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? I know! Let's join the Corps and rob them! We, we are aware of the current threat, but, but can devote no, no resources toward fighting it. I know! Let's join the Corps and rob them! Because that went so well with Lady Hellbender. Quill, pick something already! I am Groot. Groot wants you to pick World Mind. The allocation, the allocation of resources for direct, direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Large and Groot! Cadet Nicolette Gold's communication privileges are suspended while we investigate her involvement in unsanctioned cult activity. You should force your spawn to answer us. I can't do that. She's independent. Hey, Woolberry, got any ideas? Ugh, I hate bureaucracy. We should report what Raker is up to. Think the Flark in Worldmind doesn't already know? We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. Due, Due to, to the imminent termination of civilization, we are unable to open new cases. This menu again? Only, Only one, one application per cycle is permitted, and, and you, you cannot, cannot resume a cancelled application. How about future crime? Do you think turning ourselves in would get their attention? Connecting, Connecting to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Guardians of the Galaxy. Explain, Explain yourselves. Hey, 
world mine. Long time no see. It's me, Peter Quill, Star Lord. And uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay, pay a fine. fine? No, no, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. Cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping, sweeping its systems, converting, converting all who encounter it. In less than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts, worlds, and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda Galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mind's collective consciousness. Look. We know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. I told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me in it. Look, we just escaped the Church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Novacore helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We have overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now. If you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zendarian culture is a lost cause! Culture is more than a location. But you're Novacor's leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That, that is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We, we merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. directive officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you and you won't even risk fighting for their sake the, the risk, risk is too great it, it would be, be a pointless, pointless sacrifice for unknown reasons the church is stockpiling resources its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models then update your models we cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source you mean faith energy Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. That is why they fail. Don't you control the Nova Force, the magical energy that powers Nova Core? It. It's, it's not magical. magical. But okay, yes. Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers of Xandar are the Nova Force. Force. It exists because we exist, and we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Raker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the Church does. Perhaps. You, you have, have given, given us new data to consider. Guardians of the galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? 
We did not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our databanks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? I am Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. All right, let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end, and you spend our cash on the Nova Corps fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. The Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they find us, we're screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. No, I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. I need some rest. Screw Noble Core. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. Look, it's our great leader. Really? How did you... I'm gonna get fleas. Oh, 
Come on, girl. Shoot, shoot. And the bed smells. Great. Talking raccoon's waiting for you. Everybody is. Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad uh, guys? It's complicated. No, it's not. Stop running. And we've landed. Uh... <clears throat> Groot wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship! Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. So you flew us all the way here? Yep. Without asking. Hey, I asked. You said, and I quote, I'll take you to the stars. I'll show you who we are. We're space riders with no name. Uh, and then you went back to sleep. And you thought that meant yes. Good enough for me. There, let's go. Stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough. What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but. <sighs> Nikki! Responsibility. Darkest! I'm sorry! 